In this week's Follow the Money, we look at billions of your tax dollars being spent on thousands of armored tanks collecting dust in the California desert while they continue to collect tax money. Josie Sturman spoke with Tom Schatz, president of Citizens Against Government Waste. In 1984, when the M1 Abrams tank was first rolled out of the production line, it was the best tank in the world. The M1 Abrams tank was once a premier weapon equipped with a high-powered engine, a heavy-duty gun, and protective armor. It was a key part of both wars with Iraq. 35 years later, maintaining those heavy hitters carries a hefty price tag footed by American taxpayers. And that landed the tank upgrades on the list of Citizens Against Government Waste annual report, saying if we stopped spending on the M1 Abrams, we'd save $2.2 billion in taxpayer money in just one year. The idea that we're going to have a big tank war with another country is pretty remote at this point. We're using a lot of remote capabilities like drones and missiles. To give the Abrams its due, they are still being deployed in a Cold War type standoff with Russia, as our Scott Thuman discovered in Poland. But thousands of M1 Abrams tanks aren't even being used. 2,000 of them are parked at an Army depot in Northern California. Then Army Chief of Staff Ray Odierno testified in 2012 that we didn't need tank repairs. Our tank fleet is in good shape, and we're not going to need to start recap or reset on that till 17. So Why does Congress continue to throw money at them if they just don't work in this scenario? It's like a lot of other extra expenditures. They use all of this as an excuse to create jobs. There are people all over the country involved in not just those tanks, but everything else related to the Pentagon. A lot of them work together. I'll support your project if you support mine. This fiscal year, the Trump administration increased its funding request for the M1 Abrams by $1.4 billion over last year, the president making it known to workers at a manufacturing plant for the tanks in Ohio. Well, you better love me. I kept this place open. That I can tell you. Is anyone clearly evaluating right now, do we need these tanks? Congress is unfortunately pushing to get more tanks. Because so much more money was added to the defense budget, the Pentagon reversed itself and said, now we do want the M1 to be upgraded. The question is whether even the upgrades can keep pace with technology. Meantime, the Army is aiming to have a plan in place to replace the Abrams in the next three years and have new vehicles out by 2025.